to Rusty Met Garage. Today's episode, we're gonna show you our 1979 Chevrolet C10 Big 10. You may have already seen this truck in other videos when we purchased it over Newburgh, Oregon, and then I took it out to my shop and I lowered it. Um, we put a four six drop kit in it. We dropped it four inches in the front, six inches in the rear, and we put the 15 by eight rally wheels on it. I bought the rally wheels at a wrecking yard um, and for like 20, 25 bucks a piece and repaint them silver, put trim rings on it for $68 and I think the center cap for like $34. We're planning on uh, making a short bed out of this truck. We'll be taking uh, 14 inches out of the bed here, here, and we'll take another six inches back there, then we'll cut the frame 20 inches and make a short bed out of it. It's been a while since I updated you guys on this truck, so just kind of want to let you know we still have it and we're still planning to, to do some things to it here. We're gonna do a cold start on the truck and then pull it outside here. All right, the truck's been sitting here for a couple months. Uh, not sure when the last time it was started, but we're gonna give it a quick cold start here. Starting to second guess myself that long wet bed looks pretty good there. Now I think uh, the short box is what I want. Definitely uh, a little shorter in the garage. How about that? All right, we're going to do a little quick walk around of the truck here. Uh, you can see the 1979 Cheyenne 10. Also the big 10, eight foot box. Got it lowered down. I don't know if you can see the, the big tin, where the big tin emblem was it at or not, but it was there. Um, and it shows up on the build sheet too. And I have the build sheet, I'll be showing that a little bit later here. Got a hole in the trim there in the back. We're gonna get rid of that step bumper and put a sport bumper on the rear. When we have the bed cut apart here, we're gonna see if we can't access these uh, two dents in the um, bed there take care of that hopefully to make it look better and replace the molding on it you can see it's got dual tanks on the side of it which has the 79s have the fuel doors 79 and up and possibly others but I, I know the 79 has the fuel doors and this one does so we'll have to buy the fuel tanks for a short bed but otherwise it's a pretty pretty straight old truck really no no real rust to speak of Bumper had a couple of dings in it. We'll kind of straighten them out the best we could. When I purchased this truck, I received this vanilla envelope that had the title inside of it and various other documents. And one of the documents that was in there was the uh, uh, parts option list for the truck. And if you see the second item down there, the heavy duty chassis F44, that is the option code for a big 10 truck. Uh, which this truck is uh, mx1 automatic tranny that's the turbo 350 transmission power steering of course chrome grill shine equipment shamrock green tinted glass of course the fleet side 350 engine tilt wheel and a heavy duty radiator it also came with the uh, build sheet um, that the owner had uh, put in this plastic for me um, and, and it just confirms all those other options and several other ones. These build sheets are what go down the line at the factory with these regular production order codes there, like the AN1, the AQ1, 
Um, you know, one everybody's familiar with is probably the Z71. This truck is not a Z71, but those those are um, are regular production option codes. Like a Z28, that's a regular production option code. Um, but this has all the codes on here for the various items that uh, help them choose the right parts to install in the truck when it was being built. A couple other things that we got with the truck. Uh, the transmission had been rebuilt, although you can see it was rebuilt in 2001, so quite a long time ago. And we note that it has a, the, a different owner at that time. Uh, and then in 2003, uh, showing 48,000 miles on the odometer. The engine was rebuilt by Kenner Automotive, which is uh, a local company um, not far from where I live. Uh, but they could, looks like they completely rebuilt the engine 60 over and it's r and the engine also there for a total of $1,741. Uh, I'm not sure how many miles it has on, on it since that was installed, but I really don't think it's that many. It sure runs out nice and came with the warranty. We haven't spent any time cleaning the truck yet, but you can see the rockers just really nice. No rust in them whatsoever. Nothing down below. Yeah, and you can see the rockers on the passenger side here. Also very nice. No issues there whatsoever. That shiny package does have the uh, deluxe trim. Dash pad's gonna need to be replaced. Probably end up putting a cover over it. It's got a broken windshield. It's gonna need a lot of work, but uh, I think it'll be worth it in the end. Well, this old truck, if the wrong person had gotten a hold of it and they treated it like just an old truck and blew up the motor, or transmission go bad or something, this truck would have been in the wrecking yard and parted out and then soon off to the scrap metal. Well, luckily, we got a hold of the truck we're fixing some things on it. We're gonna make it a nice driving truck, nice looking truck, and we're gonna make a short bed out of it and keep it around for a while. So if you would, stay tuned, continue to watch Rusty Duck Garage, and if you would, please hit that like button, share button, and the subscribe button. Thank you very much. And if you would, please leave a comment. Tell us what you'd do with this truck. Tell us how you'd fix it up.